they're slow, they're threatened, and they happen to live natively on a military installation about the size of Rhode Island. Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center, also known as 29 Palms, is home to over 11,000 Marines. It's also home to the threatened and federally protected desert tortoise. This presents a challenge for the Marines who need to train and the tortoise who needs to survive. So the Fish and Wildlife Service is monitoring these populations and across the desert, populations are still declining. Dr. Brian Heenan is an ecologist for the Marine Corps. It's his job to make sure everything possible is being done to protect the desert tortoise, and he's not alone. Now, the, the various agencies and scientists are all concerned about the tortoise and are doing various things to help protect them and try to help stabilize the populations as well as their habitat. Convoys and live fire exercises have a negative impact on the desert tortoise, and the Marine Corps knows it. In order for us to train, we have to have access to this land. Um, we want to ensure that the tortoise is here into, into the future, and we want to ensure that we have access to the land for training purposes, which is the priority of this installation, is to train Marines. The solution to saving the tortoises is the Tortoise Research and Captive Rearing Site, also known as Tracers. And the way this works, is uh, the, the vertical fencing on the walls is a, a fine hardware cloth mesh at the bottom to keep out uh, the smaller predators and rodents. So that keeps out the terrestrial predators, but we have flying predators, hawks, ravens, eagles, and that's what this netting is about. This particular location is the nursery where they bring the desert tortoise here to lay her eggs and raise her offspring until they're old enough and strong enough to survive in the wild. To find the mama tortoises, researchers track them in the wild. Tracking this female allows researchers to identify which tortoises are about to lay their eggs so they can be moved to the tracer facility so their offspring will have a decent shot at survival. Not far away, another team keeps a close eye on progress, taking blood, photographing growth, and making sure the tortoises are healthy and developing properly. The Marine Corps and scientists, armed with science and a lot of patience, protect and preserve the desert tortoise and ensure all the Marines can train to fight. It all adds up to a chance to thrive for the cohabitants of 29 Palms. <laughs>